Oh, better. Oh, my. Uh oh. Underpants cleanup in aisle three. Oh, just kidding. I think. Uh, getting sick sucks. And inevitably, as an endurance athlete, at some point in your life, you're putting in the miles, you're doing all the hard workouts, and out of nowhere, you get hit with a flu bug or a cold, and you're stopped dead in your tracks because unspeakable fluids are coming out of both ends. And by both ends, I mean your butt and your mouth. But also, as an endurance athlete, we're all a little OCD and we want to keep pushing our bodies uh, through when we're either cold or sick. Now, is this the best idea? And this is what we're really gonna answer in today's video is, should you continue to exercise when you are sick? We're also gonna discuss some supplements that may help you to kind of prevent or lessen the duration of the cold or uh, being sick. And then we'll kind of wrap it up into a neat little package with a few uh, take home points. So just to start this off, you know, unless you're Chuck Norris, who at one time gave the flu the flu, it's inevitable and the odds are stacked against you that you're gonna get a cold or you're gonna get a flu. I'm no offense intended, but your echinacea infused kombucha isn't gonna do jack squat. But back to the point, let's talk about if it's a good idea to exercise or run, bike, or do an other endurance exercise when you're sick. And it's a little, not such a straightforward answer and it really depends on a lot of things. So let's just jump right into it and start with first, if you have a cold, is it okay to continue to exercise? Now, the advice you've probably gotten or what you've heard is, you know, if it's above the neck, you're okay to continue to exercise. It's not gonna hurt anything, but it's not gonna help anything. So if you have like a sore throat, nasal congestion, sinal congestion, a little, a little sniffle and things like that, more than likely it's okay to keep on exercising. In fact, Light exercise and less intense exercise or a shorter duration exercise can actually provide a temporary spike in immunity. So it may actually help you recover from the cold a little bit faster. But the key is here is if you have the above the neck symptoms, you want to keep the duration intensity low. That's because your immune system is already suppressed and intense exercise will only worsen those symptoms. So if you have a cold, or just symptoms and above the neck, it's not gonna hurt or help to keep on exercising as long as you keep everything in check. Now, as we get to below the neck, things, things change a little bit differently uh, if we wanna keep on exercising. So below the neck, um, you're thinking like uh, the GI bug, or the flu, or the fever, where again, things might be coming out of both ends. Your body temperature may already be elevated. Your immune system's even more suppressed than when you have like a cold or upper respiratory syndrome, or symptoms, excuse me. So in general, if you have the fever or the flu and your immune system is suppressed even more, it's just a good idea to stop exercise completely. Anything you're gonna do is probably gonna make symptoms worse and that flu fever GI bug is gonna uh, hold on a little bit longer, which, which we don't want to do. Look, I get it, like I said, OC, Endurance athletes are a little bit OCD and we wanna keep on pushing. But the worst piece of advice anybody's ever gave me is keep on sweating it out when you're sick. That's a bunch of baloney. Don't do that. Fever, flu, GI bug, don't keep exercising. It is not gonna do you any good and at the end of the day, it's probably just gonna lengthen how long you're gonna be sick. So to sum those two things up, light, cold, uh, anything above the neck, for the most part, you're okay to continue to exercise as long as it's short duration and light intensity. Anything below the neck, fever, flu, GI bug, stop exercising completely. Now, are there certain supplements that can help you maybe prevent colds or prevent you from getting sick? And 
The answer is no, not really, but there are a few supplements you can take on a daily basis that will shorten the duration of the cold or sickness, uh, maybe the severity and the number of times you might get sick throughout a year. So we'll just briefly discuss these. Um, the first one would be vitamin C. Uh, you want to do one gram a day. The second would be vitamin D where you'd want to do 400 international units a day. And then the last one would be zinc, which you want to do 5 to 10 milligrams a day, or if you feel a cold coming on, you can load up to 100 milligrams a day, but you don't want to stay at that point for too long because that's kind of the safe uh, upper tolerable limit for that. Um, what's also interesting is increasing protein intake when your immune system is suppressed can actually boost immunity a little bit too. So if uh, you're sick, you can stomach it, you don't have the flu, you're feeling a little down in the dumps because of the cold, you can up your protein intake to three grams per kilogram body weight daily, and this may give you a temporary spike in immunity. Um, this was actually a study run by a guy named uh, Asker Jukendrup, who did this in cyclists, um, who found that you know when they did that much protein, it helped athletes recover quickly and actually provided that spike in immunity. Now, like I said, these supplements aren't going to completely stop, you know, from you getting sick, but they may be able to shorten the duration, the severity or number of, of colds or flus uh, you get throughout the year, which, you know, that's what we want to do. We want to keep healthy. We want to keep on training so we can get uh, better as an endurance athlete. So let's wrap this all up in a nice little package. And I'm going to end like this. Let experience be your guide when it comes to deciding whether to exercise when you have a cold or a flu. Like for me personally, if I have a cold and I have some of those symptoms of the nasal congestion and sinus, I'm more than likely just going to take those days off because I'm going to recover a lot quicker and I'm at a point where, you know, I know taking a couple days off isn't going to kill me. So you you know your own body the best and what it can handle and what it can't when you are sick. I would just highly recommend like if you have like the fever or the flu or if you decide to go out and exercise and within that first mile like it's not happening, energy levels are low and you know it's not going to be a productive workout, just stop right there. Go back inside, drink some orange juice, get some chicken noodle soup, put on the latest documentary on Netflix and, and just chill out for a while. Which again, I know that's super hard as an endurance athlete, but your body will thank you and you're going to come back stronger and you're not going to have to have that cold or flu just keep on holding on to you because you try to keep on pushing it. So that is all for today, my endurance friends. If you have a friend that you think would like this video, please share it with them. Uh, subscribe to our Endure Elite YouTube channel if you want to see other videos like this, or head over to the Endure Elite website at www.endurelite.com and check out our blog over there. And until next time, my endurance friends, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and stay informed.